okay so in this lecture we are going to uh, prove that identity in a group is always unique so let us write the theorem that identity in a group is unique okay so how will you prove this particular theorem you know that by our previous classes we know how to prove something is unique so what we do is we assume that there are two identities and then we will prove that both the identities will come up to be the same so let us assume that we have two identities so suppose a group g has two identities so i will assume that the two identities are e and e dash right now let me concentrate on e since e is identity now what can i say about e is identity once i know that e is identity i know that a star e will be equal to e star a will be equal to a for all a this is the definition of identity that a into any element a into identity will be the same as a for any element a again i know that e dash is also identity because i'm assuming that e dash is also identity since e dash is identity what can i say about the statement now what is the definition of identity a star e dash will be equal to e dash star a will be equal to a and that also is true for all elements a and g's this is the definition of e dash is identity element of the group g now what i will do i will call this equation i will call number 1 and this equation i will call 2 in the first equation okay in equation 1 what i will do is i will say put a equal to e dash okay if i put a equal to e dash in the first equation see the first equation is completely related to e and and there i am putting a equal to e dash how will that first statement start looking like it will start looking like e dash star here a will be replaced by e dash e dash star e is equal to e star e dash is equal to again here i have put a equal to e dash and on the right hand side i will have e dash and in the second equation now what i will do obviously in the second equation i will put a equal to how much i will put a equal to e okay what will that second statement start looking like it will start looking like e star here i'm putting a as e okay e star e dash is equal to e dash star e is again equal to e because wherever there is a i am substituting what i am substituting e now look at this two statements look at these two statements let me call this uh, let me call this uh, a and let me call this b do, do you see that statement a and b are actually the same because e dash star e and e dash star e e star e dash and e star e dash and is equal to e dash is equal to e so this means that from a and b what am i getting from a and b i say i'm writing it so smartly i'm getting e dash is equal to e dash is equal to this e dash is equal to e star e dash is equal to e dash star e is equal to but e dash star e and e star e dash is also equal to e right so this came from a and this statement came from b so when i compare the first and the last i am getting that e dash is equal to e and therefore the both the identities that we were talking about are actually nothing but the same right so this means that both identities are same so this means that a group has how many identities has exactly one identity so this is the the proof is complete okay okay now we will prove that in a group inverse is also unique so theorem inverse of element inverse of elements in group g is unique so if you take an element that element will have a 
unique inverse so let us take an element so let me start with the proof this is also very simple proof so let a belong to g be any element in group right now and suppose this element has two inverses right we want to actually show that the inverse must be unique right suppose a has two inverses suppose a has two inverses suppose the two inverses are denoted by a dash and the other inverse is denoted by a double dash now if a has inverse a dash then what can i say by definition if a has inverse a dash this means that a star a dash must be equal to a dash star a must be equal to identity correct because why because a has inverse a has inverse a dash but a also has inverse a double dash so if a has inverse a double dash then again by the definition i can say that a star a double dash is equal to a double dash star a is equal to identity but if i compare the two statements here e is equal to e so so all are equal right so e is equal to e therefore on the left hand side i will write a star a dash is equal to a dash star a is equal to a star a double dash is equal to a double dash star a and therefore all five six people have become equal but i will be interested in uh, i'm sorry i'm here i'm writing a dash star a. okay yes so which people am i interested in out of these six people i will choose two people smartly i will choose this and i will choose this okay therefore a star a dash is equal to a star a double dash okay but now you see that a is on the left hand side and if i cancel this a from both the sides i will get that a dash is equal to a okay uh, a dash is equal to a double dash but can i cancel a from the left hand side yes because the left cancellation law says that you can always cancel a from either left side or either right side both a's should be in the left hand side or both a's should be in the right hand side so which law i'm using here so by left cancellation law remember you cannot cancel one a from the left side and other a from the right side that is not allowed either both the a's must be on the left hand side or either both the both a's must be on the right hand side so by left cancellation law i can say that a dash is equal to a double dash and therefore the two inverses a dash and a double dash are actually the same and therefore we can now conclude that inverses are unique in in a group 